Hi everyone, my name is Chris Ferrier. I'm the executive chef at West Bama Place here at the National Conference Center. Part of our video series, I'm gonna show you how to make homemade marshmallows. The main ingredients of marshmallow, sugar, corn syrup, water, gelatin, and flavor. And we're gonna use vanilla extract. Okay, equipment, we need a pot with the heavy bottom. So when we cook the sugar, the sugar doesn't burn. Gas stove, electric stove sign. You need a mixer, and you can use a hand mixer, um, but I have a Cuisinart. And also important is a sugar thermometer. This is gonna give us the temperature of the sugar that we're gonna cook it to when we go add it into the gelatin. So let's get started. We're gonna add three quarters of a cup of water. We're gonna add one and a half cups of corn syrup. Salt, you really don't need the salt. A pinch is okay. It works without the salt. Three cups of sugar. Now, do not stir it. Just let it melt on its own. It'll come up to a simmer. While that's simmering, we're gonna melt gelatin and some more water in our mixing bowl. So this is a three quarter cups of water. We're gonna add four packets of gelatin and we're gonna let it bloom. What blooming means is we're gonna sprinkle it on top. The gelatin is gonna absorb into the water and it's gonna start looking like, um, like Elmer's glue. So we added the gelatin. And if you take a look, it's three quarters of a cup of water, four packs of gelatin, and it's gonna dissolve. Once it dissolves, then our sugar is gonna to start to boil and we want it to go to 238 degrees on the candy thermometer. So you can buy candy thermometers anywhere. Walmart, Target, Harris Teeter, any grocery store, they have candy thermometers. Not the same as a meat thermometer. Okay, so our sugar has started to boil. Did not stir it. If you stir it, what happens is you're gonna splash sugar on the sides of the pot and it's gonna burn and caramelize. So with the thermometer in there, it has to reach 238 degrees is the average. It's called the softball stage. So it's reached that. So it's at 238. I'm gonna slowly pour this hot into the gelatin mixture that has, that has, we called it, it's blooming. So it's bloomed. I'm gonna turn it on slow. I don't wanna pour the hot sugar on me. Have it on slow, Put the gelatin in the water. I'm gonna add a little bit. So I have a, a, almost all of the melted sugar in there. I'm gonna turn it up a little bit more. So it's been about five minutes and it's starting to add air. It's starting to cool the gelatin, starting to slowly thicken the marshmallow. So at this time, I'm gonna have a teaspoon of vanilla. And I'm gonna put food coloring in it. You don't have to, but it just adds a little, nice little okay. presentation. So it's whipped for about 15 minutes. I added some food color, very light pink, a good soft peaks. And then we're gonna pour it into a, um, a baking pan. I sprayed this with vegetable spray. You could line it with parchment paper. Just in case you don't, you're a little concerned with, the, uh, with it sticking. It goes in the refrigerator, three hours, four hours, five hours, it's gonna set. Our marshmallow's been in the refrigerator three hours. I have some sifted powdered sugar. We're gonna sprinkle it on our cutting surface. This is gonna keep the marshmallow from sticking because it was once gooey sugar. So we've unmolded our marshmallow. And we put it right on top of the powdered sugar. We're gonna add, add a lot more. You can be very generous. When we cut it, we're also gonna put powdered sugar on our knife. You can spread it around. It's not gonna hurt it. So when you go cut it, the powdered sugar is going to help cut into the marshmallow. You can cut it any way that you want to. Once you cut it in your sizes, we're going to put it into the bowl of powdered sugar. And they get coated. So our marshmallows are done. Remember, you got to toss them in a lot of uh, powdered sugar. 
it's going to help keep them cut and not sticking together. Put them in a Tupperware container, Ziploc bag, whatever, candy bag, treat bags. They last for probably a week. And you can cut them any size you want. You can eat it any way you want. <laughs> awesome. Thank you for watching. That's our video for today. So please subscribe to our YouTube channel and put your recipes on our West Belmont Place Facebook page. Thanks very much.